Hi, right, we're here with Chef Santo Gutierrez doing a pernil. Oh, no, actually, carne guisada. Yeah. My bad. You chop the onion like this, you can make it cute, you know, you can slice whatever how you want. You throw them on the top like that, you know. What's that What's that green thing that you have there? That, 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 we call it uh, the Dominican call it sofrito. Okay. Sofrito. Okay, and, and that right there, it's Dang. green pepper. You cut a bit of green pepper like that, you know. Yes, yes mm. you cut the gut off. You can, you know, you can chunk it, you can make it slice, you know, me personally, I just do it like this, you know what I'm saying? Yes. And nice. then, you, t you turn over the meat, you know? Okay. And, and what do they do? What they do is, they give a flavor to the food, you know? Mm -hmm. Then, what you do, you spread it out like this. Bang! Know? Okay? <laughs> now, if you want to make the recipe it's like that, huh? what you do, you turn it over the cilantro. A little bit of Italian, Italian parsley. And then what you take for coloring, this is for coloring. You take a piece of this thing here, you go like this, you slice it, <laughs> then you go like this. <laughs> Do you feel me? I feel you. Thank you. That's the, 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 the catchphrase. You go like this, stop it. watch your finger when you do it, because you know, you can slice your finger, you know. And that can be dangerous. You don't want to go to the hospital, you know, fuck, you know. In another notch! <laughs> and then, you chop it like that, okay? Mm -hmm. And then, you throw them in there together, right here, okay, yeah. right there. Mm -hmm. Now, what you take, then you take a little couple of cloves of garlic, you know, one or two cloves. You can get here in my kitchen, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no. Then, go like this, okay. Pero eso tiene mucho ajo. No, cállate que estamos haciendo un video aquí de televisión, coño, estúpido. Then you go like this, you know, make it easy. And uh, uh, go like this, much, you know? Make it a little easy. You no, know? cut it like this, make it a little small. So because what they do, this give a flavor to the food, you know? Mm -hmm. And when you cook a food, you gotta give it flavor. Because if you don't do no flavor, the food don't taste good. You know what I'm saying? Of course not, of course not. Okay? And I throw a little bit of garlic, a little bit of garlic right here. And another little bit of garlic. <laughs> and another little bit of garlic. <laughs> then. You'd be good in your own show. A little bit of salt. Okay? Uh huh. A little bit more salt. How about? Yeah! <laughs> Little bit of oil. Bad you know? Then you take some uh what you call Oregano. Oregano. Mm -hmm. Oregano is good too, you know. You know? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You go like this, spread it around. A little bit of black pepper. You can already smell it. You can smell yeah, the seed. Yeah. Mm, you smell it awesome. <laughs> Look, you go like this, right? I, I, I like my I like my black pepper fresh, you know? <laughs> Some people just grab it from the store, you know, it's not the same thing. Yeah. And then, then, for coloring, you spit this little shit here, you know, which is good. It's called Sazon. So, Sazon Goya in con Achote. In English, Sazon. Sazon. Put it on the left one, I guess. Then, when you cook it like that, mm -hmm. if somebody calls the phone, you start, no, forget about the phone. Because we're cooking now. And, let me see. Uh, a little bit of adobo. That's for flavor. And what name brand do you use? I use a Goya. Goya. Goya is very good. Okay. Sometimes you can use, you know, Emerald Light, <laughs> Rachel Ray, you know what I'm saying? They're not cooking like me, you know? Of course not. Of course Here not. we cooking for real. Yeah. And what you do, a little bit of paprika. Paprika. Yeah. Paprika. In Spanish, you call it paprika. <laughs> Meat tenderize. Meat tenderize. Meat tenderizer. Can you get it? Yes, I got it. Meat tenderize. Okay. What this what these do is is kinda make the the meat the tender. Tending very fast and <laughs> faster than it's supposed to be. Okay. Etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. <laughs> God damn, it's been like a freaking bowl inside. It's been there like for three years, you know what I'm saying? So it's probably expired. Now, simple, what you do, you go like this, look. That's what I do. I put the misation, you know? <laughs> the what? The misation. <laughs> Massaging. I massage the meat, you know? And some women, and they put the dirty fingers in there, yeah. and the food sometimes tastes even better. Okay. That's what I do. Now, you marinate it like that. I wash my hand. Oh, okay. A little bit of soap. And. And. <laughs> now, I get the. I got the, the cooking powder 
Oh yeah, warm already. With water. With water. Uh, but you're not supposed to let my wife cook like that. <laughs> <laughs> because what I do, I put a little bit of oil, warm it up, throw a little bit of sugar, make it to make the meat brown, you know? Okay. And then you spread the meat over there. Mm. And when the meat's fry, you can smell a taste. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> taste smell great. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Then you let it cook like for half an hour. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Throw a little bit of tomato paste, sauce, cover it up, simmer. Uh -huh. Forty minutes later, you, you got, got meal. You got food. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, time is short. Meet me here tomorrow again at 9 30 a.m. and we we'll teach you another recipe, which is going to be lamb and sauce <laughs> with onion. Thank you very much and mushrooms. <laughs> Goodbye. For you guys, Santo Gutierrez, your favorite chef. Thank you. <laughs>